Okay, so if you recall in the previous video, we found the Taylor series of the function x over x plus 5 centered at 2 by finding a pattern for the higher derivatives of the function at 2 and then replacing into the Taylor series expansion. Now, we want to find the exact same Taylor series, but instead of finding a pattern for the higher derivatives of x over x plus 5 at 2, we will instead use our knowledge of geometric series to turn this function x over x plus 5 into something of the type 1 over 1 minus r. Because if you recall, we know that the expression 1 over 1 minus r is equal to, as an infinite series, the sum when n goes from 0 to infinity of simply r to the n. The equality, of course, is only valid if an absolute value r is strictly less than 1. So the idea is to use a little bit of algebra to turn the simple rational function into something of this type and then we'll get essentially the Taylor series for free. So here again we will not find the higher derivatives but with a little bit of algebra and this equality we will obtain the exact same Taylor series that we did in the previous video. So the first thing is we have a ratio of two polynomials. To simplify the rational function, perform the long division. Divide x by x plus 5, which will return 1 minus 5 over x plus 5. Well, we have a constant term, so we'll leave this as is. Here, we want to transform this into this. Well, on the numerator, we need to have a 1. So let's just factor the 5. This will become 1 minus 5 times 1 over x plus 5. Now the key thing here is because we want a Taylor series centered at 2, if you look here, the x minus 2 to the n will be coming from the r. So we need r to be something of the type with an x minus 2. So we need to transform this into 1 over 1 minus a term with an x minus 2 in there. What we have is simply an x. Well, the idea is let's force in the negative 2. So, x is of course x minus 2 plus 2. This is simply x, check, plus the 5. I will put the constant term first. So the 5 plus 2 is 7, plus, and the other term, x minus 2. So now we're getting closer to 1 over 1 minus r. Well, we have a 7 here instead of the 1. We can obtain a 1 if we factor 7 from the denominator. And so now we're almost there, right? If we ignore the 1 in this constant multiple, we have 1 over 1 plus something. We need 1 over 1 minus something. Well, the plus can be changed into a negative negative. So we now have 1 minus 5 over 7 times 1 over 1 minus negative x minus 2 over 7. And now we're good to go. What we have is 1 over 1 minus this quantity, and this is now playing the role of r. So, we have 1 minus 5 over 7 times 1 over 1 minus r, and we can now replace the simple expression 1 over 1 minus r by its series expansion. So this will be the series from 0 to infinity of r to the n, but of course r is all of negative x minus 2 over 7 
this is i to the n, of course the equality is only valid if an absolute value r is strictly less than 1. Well, we take the absolute value of negative x minus 2 over 7, an absolute value the negative 1 goes away, so we're left with the absolute value of x minus 2 over 7. As 7 is positive, we can remove the absolute value, and this must be strictly less than 1. If we transform a little bit, multiply across by 7, what you will find is that x minus 2 is less than 7. As 7 is positive, it preserves the inequality. So if an absolute value x minus 2 is less than 7, x minus 2 must lie strictly between negative and positive 7. And to isolate for x, we simply have to add 2 across both inequalities. So 2 minus 7, negative 5, x minus 2 plus 2 is x, 7 plus 2 is 9. And so now we have that the equality between x over x plus 5 and this series is valid when x lies strictly between negative 5 and 9. And now we're essentially done. This is the Taylor series of the function centered at 2, but let's simplify a little bit. Let's clean this up. So we have what? 1 minus 5 over 7. And here I will split up the nth power on all three parts. We have a negative 1 multiple to the n, negative 1 to the n, x minus 2 to the n, n over 7 to the n. And now, you can notice that we have a constant term here, and when n is 0, x minus 2 to the 0 is 1, so there's also a constant term being the first term of the given series. So let's split up the constant term of the series so we can combine it with 1. So what will that give us? Well, 1 minus 5 over 7, and we pull out the first term of the series when n is 0, so we'll get, well, negative 1 to the 0 is 1, 7 to the 0 is 1, x minus 2 to the 0 is 1, so we get 1. So it's negative 5 over 7 times the first term of the series, which is 1. And then minus 5 over 7 times, well, the leftover of the series, which is all we've done is we've pulled out the term when n was 0. So we're left with the series beginning at 1, the term after 0. So let's simplify. 1 is 7 over 7, minus 5 over 7 is 2 over 7, just as if you recall the previous video. And I will dump this multiple of negative 5 over 7 inside to make the series look like exactly what we obtained in the previous video. Thinking of a negative being plus the negative. Well, we'll have the 5, we'll stay there as a constant multiple. A negative 1 times negative 1 to the n is negative 1 to the n plus 1. A 7 times 7 to the n is 7 to the n plus 1. And of course, x minus 2 to the n. And this form is the exact same form that we did obtain in the previous video by finding a pattern for higher derivatives of the function x over x plus 5 at 2. And we have the exact same conclusion. You see, the equality is only valid for values of x that lie strictly between negative 5 and 9. So the interval of convergence of the Taylor series is indeed from negative 5 to 9 excluded. Right, we exclude the endpoints. The center of the series, of course, was 2. And again, if you visualize the interval of convergence, the center is 2, the left end point is negative 5, the right end point is positive 9, 
The distance from 2 to 9 is 7, from 2 to negative 5 is 7, and so the radius of convergence of the Taylor series is 7. So, we obtain, of course, the exact same conclusion that we did in the previous video, but we have a radically different solution. Instead of finding a pattern for the higher derivatives of x over x plus 5 at 2, we, with a little bit of algebra, turn the rational function into something of the type 1 over 1 minus r, which we could then, using our knowledge of geometric series, turn into a Taylor series centered at 2. And the remaining of the solution was simply doing a little bit of algebra to transform the Taylor series we obtained into the same exact form that we obtained in our previous video. And that's it.